The theme of Mix this year is fueling interactive advertising's creative revolution. What does creativity and interactive mean to you? Uh, creativity in interactive advertising has um, not, uh, uh, doesn't mean a lot to me nowadays because I haven't seen the full power of the creative community's um, impact um, come to the web yet. And that's one of the reasons that we've, we've put an emphasis on it for this year's MIX uh, uh, conference. And, and so um, we're beginning to see some glimmers of, of really neat creative on the web, primarily through the use of um, viral videos. Uh, but we have a long, long way to go. And um, you know, if you were to walk into a creative director's office today and ask them to show you their best stuff, they'll go right to their television reel. Now the good news is that convergence is happening so quickly now, uh, those videos are going to end up on the web. So I, I think the dearth of great creative um, on the web is uh, at an inflection point and I look forward to seeing some really good stuff in the future. They say that the role of marketers, agencies, and publishers has changed in recent years and even merged in many respects. How has that change impacted the way you do your job? The whole value chain of uh, advertising agencies and media companies and technology providers has blurred overall. And as a result, it's um, everybody's getting into one another's business. It's not quite as defined as it used to be. And how that has changed my job is it um, allows me to get into other people's business as well. Now, we're owned by the largest um, advertising communications and research company in the world, WPP. And what's great about that is that we have all the other businesses and we're able to mix and match those together to come up with the, the best solution for a marketer or an advertiser. So um, it offers, uh, I think, a new opportunity to come up with big ideas that don't just pertain to your own sole expertise as a business. Dave, you're a busy guy. What made you decide to take on the role of chairman of the IAB? Well, believe it or not, I've always wanted to be chairman of the IAB. In spite of uh, uh, the, the work that it entails, it's, it's something that I had always aspired to, to be. And like anything in, in life, if you set your mind to it, you can accomplish it. And I'm happy that I have, and I really am excited to serve. What do you think is most important about MIX and the IAB's role to the interactive industry? Well, the MIX conference um, is so important uh, to bring thought leadership together. And I think uh, it's a real tribute to Randall Rothenberg and the, the rest of the IAB staff that you've been able to create such a fantastic platform that appeals to the top digital talent in our industry. And um, um, I think all the members are, are really excited about uh, how well the IAB has pulled together the conference this year. And in particular, during the week of um, uh, a lot of advertising activities, it's captured the, 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 the talk of the town. Um, the IAB um, is, is a critical organization to this industry's growth. Uh, from setting the standards and guidelines on which uh, we all um, um, use and, and work and uh, aspire to, to um, the work we're doing in, in Washington to provide uh, framework for privacy and, and proper disclosure of, of ad tracking. Um, this industry would be lost without the IAB and it, it uh, it, it is the foundation on which the future growth of the industry will be assured. 
What do you think is the single most exciting trend in interactive media? And I know it's a hard question. Well, uh, you know, to identify the single most exciting trend is hard because every single day there's new technologies and there's certainly, you know, a trend um, of new technology development that is incredible. Um, but at the same time, um, one of the, the trends that um, has, um, um, may not be categorized as exciting but is cer certainly changing the face of media overall is the fact that advertisers now are more focused on reaching people in the bottom half of the funnel as opposed to filling the funnel up with branding at, to at the top. Companies nowadays that are public have short-term quarterly earnings to which they have to achieve. Um, they are now more focused on people that are in the mindset to make that product purchase now. And as a result, their efforts in, in targeting uh, audiences are for those that are in that particular mindset. And as a result, those companies, media companies in particular that um, uh, had, had survived on advertisers that are branding, um, are not doing as well as they used to do. And when it comes to offering a proposition for an advertiser that's a little more transactional, some of those companies aren't able to do it in the, the fashion that is compelling for that particular advertiser. So with that trend alone, what you're going to see is a complete change in the way online and offline media are priced and how they're sold and how they're purchased. What's the best way for a brand to take advantage of an ad network? Well, when you talk about what is the best way for a brand to take advantage of an ad network, um, there can be two brands here. This can be an advertiser. And in the case of an advertiser, um, the real beauty of an ad network is we can very specifically target audiences that are most likely to be uh, your customer or potential customer um, and deliver outstanding results based on what what the objective is for your particular brand whether it's creating purchase intent or actually selling it um, networks are well positioned to both those uh, activities if you're talking about a brand such as a website um, networks are part of the ecosystem. Uh, they're not going away. And what we encourage um, websites to do that aren't using networks today is to begin to work with the, some. Find people you trust. Um, understand how networks can play a role in monetizing a proportion or you know, part of your inventory and get on the inside and see how they work as opposed to being on the outside looking in. Great, Dave, thank you. You're welcome.